We good? I just oh, want to see if we can get it before that battery dies. Oh, sweet. Okay, I didn't know we were ready. No, 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 we're good. Cool. Hi there. I'm Steven Taylor. Hey, guys. I'm Dante Shepard. And I am so excited that Dante is finally back. Mm -hmm. It's been a lonely few weeks without you. I know, Steven, but you know what? Sometimes you got to withdraw so that people realize what they have, and then, and then they, feel, they feel the loss, and then when you come back, they appreciate you more. Sounds Not to say you didn't appreciate me before, but you appreciate me more now, so... Mission accomplished. Anyway, we're in the new year. What, am I supposed to go first? Yeah, I, I guess. We didn't work out, we didn't work out that, that transition, did Okay, we? but listen, there's a, there's, okay. a, there's a lot of new things that are happening. The new year, New Year's resolution, and every year around February, in February, is our guest speaker series, and this year is no different. We're still having our guest speaker series. Dr. Anderson is gonna be conducting a few interviews with some people that are, you might wanna stick around to see. We got the first week, Nona Jones, who is an author, a pastor. She is uh, on a first name basis with Mark Zuckerberg. Ask me how, I don't know, you'll find that out. Um, we're, we're gonna be hearing from Phil Vischer, guy who is a, a creator, a writer, um, the, 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 the creator of, of VeggieTales. And that's not the only thing he's done, but I know that, that that's, that's an earmark that people will hear and be like excited about. I know you're excited about that. Oh yeah, so excited. You're a VeggieTale kid. Grew up watching that every Sunday. Yeah. And then uh, Edgar Sandoval, who is the, uh, you know, the CEO and president of World Vision, which is an awesome organization that Bridgeway is partnering with. Dr. Ernestin will be talking with him. And then, Stephen, we're wrapping up the guest speaker series with Dr. Ernestin interviewing Israel Houghton of Israel and New Breed, worship leader, guy that's all over the place. We sing his music here. And if you haven't heard his name, trust me, you have definitely heard one of his songs. Mm -hmm. We are really excited for that coming up at the beginning of next month in February. This week at Bridgeway, we have Wednesday Night Alive continuing. This will be our third week. Just because it's the third week, don't worry. You can find notes and everything online for your classes. There are eight classes this module and we will be able, you'll be able to jump right in and get going. Now, I know I mentioned New Year's resolutions earlier, but one of the things Pastor Gary challenged us what, what, with was uh, choosing our, our one word. And if you need help with choosing your one word, and if you're a woman, ladies, Women's Ministry is doing uh, a vision board workshop on January 30th at 9 a.m. You can sign up for that clicking the link below or going to bridgeway.cc slash events. Now, a vision board is something that I only really learned about a couple of years ago, but it's super cool. And I'm thinking I might sign, try to sign up and sneak into this thing because uh, it's, it's going to be awesome. So, you know, the vision board is these, uh, these things, these pictures and words that you cut out and, and all of the things you want to focus on for this next year. Um, you can creatively and artistically make this vision board so that you can have something to reference. Um, if you want to learn more about how to do that, then, uh, and then this is the event for you, ladies. There's a small cost associated with this. It's mm -hmm. $8, but you know, what's $8 when talking about your future? What percentage is that? Dead. It's dead? It's, when it's on the, it just did it. it just, it's oh, got the, um, so it's still working. The yeah, the All gold. right, stop it in then. Okay. I should get this on camera. <laughs> yeah. We good? That's okay. Cool. And the last thing that we have going on here at Bridgeway this week is we actually have a community outreach event starting next Sunday, the 31st. Right now, since we are still all social distancing, there is no way for us to go and physically give people who are either first responders or are in vulnerable positions right now a hug, something comforting. What we are doing though, is our church is going to be putting together uh, different kits, whether that is a blanket, whether that's a basket that has uh, different items in it for people who are either first responders or are in uh, nursing homes and a few other locations around Howard and Baltimore County. So if this is something that you want to be a part of, we are having a pickup at both our Columbia and Owings Mills Reisterstown campus next Sunday, the 31st at 2 p.m. Now, you have two different options. You can either pick up a kit to put together a small like bag that, will be that we can be delivered. There's also one for assembling a blanket. Now, don't worry, you don't need to know how to sew. 
the directions will come included for how to put this together. Once you've got all of those assembled, you can go and go ahead and bring them back the following Sunday, February 7th. And we also have one more thing that you can do. If you can't do either of those, we are also looking for people to do delivery for these items. So you can get more information by clicking on the links below. And we are really excited that we get to continue serving our community in this way, even during times of social distancing. That's right. And there's tons more going on. So if you want to get more information about what Bridgeway's up to, uh, our food pantry, our community cupboard is still operating. You can go to bridgeway.cc slash events or just hit the website and I'll learn more. I think that's it, Stephen. Sounds good. We'll see you all next week. So, Dante, what's your one word for this year? Um, my, my one word is illusion. And uh, illusion is really, uh, for me, it's a, it's a, it's a memory jog. It's, it's a reminder for myself because uh, oftentimes uh, I, I, I kind of count myself out when I, I want to take on something or do something new. Uh, sometimes I'll quit before I even start. And this word for me is going to be just a reminder that illusion the rules and things and boundaries and hurdles that we place in front of ourselves, they're really just an illusion. They're not really there. And so I'm trying to focus on not being, not holding myself back from starting something new. Mm -hmm. um, That's awesome. What about you? What's your word? So my word for this year is sustainability. Last okay. year in March, we had to move into telecommuting. The whole world had to make an adjustment and when all that happened, I don't know, I kind of thought this, like, you know, maybe this will be two weeks, maybe a month at the most. Yeah. It'll be fine. And I just kind of kept on going. And not only kept on going, but it was like, okay, got to get ahead on what's coming up and what I've got to be, be, be prepared for. Mm -hmm. And after about three months, I feel like the whole world kind of collectively crashed, at least, you know, mentally, emotionally, like we could not keep going on. It wasn't sustainable. So mm -hmm. circumstances changed. And then I still kept going. And then that still wasn't sustainable because circumstances kept changing over right. and over and over again. So for me, sustainability means no matter what happens in the world, no matter how circumstances are changing, looking at my own behavior and thinking about in the context of everything else that's happening and thinking, is this sustainable right now? Mm -hmm. Is this something that I can keep on doing? And that can always be reevaluated. That can always change, it can always be flipped. But it's making sure that I don't think oh, things are going to be back to normal in two months, and I've got to be five steps ahead before I get there. Because mm -hmm. I've done that five times already, and that didn't work. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Re remembering that, and also boundaries, hurdles, and uh, rules are just an illusion. Mm -hmm. You want to do something, go, go do it. You know? <laughs>